So one of the main things that we know from economics is that inefficiencies are usually bad, bad for market participants, bad for the market structure, bad for liquidity. And in my paper, I show that if the size of the ETF universe is too large, the inefficiencies that it, that it creates are too large. It basically amplifies the inefficiencies and hurts the uh, welfare of the society as a whole. So today I uh, gave a talk um, on a paper I have written about exchange traded funds. If you are a small investor, it's going to be very complicated and costly for you to just go and buy you know, shares in all the 100 companies constitu constituents of the FTSE 100. It's much more efficient for you to just buy a share in the ETF. Now what happens is that on the other side of the trade, there's going to be a market maker. And if he gets a lot of orders from you and me and other you know, small people during the day, he's going to accumulate an inventory. And market makers, they don't like holding inventories because it's risk. Now for them, the sponsor offers this possibility that in the evening, typically 15 minutes before the exchange closes, the market maker can call the sponsor and say, look, I've just accumulated 500,000 shares of FTSE 100 ETF. It's a lot. Why don't I give it to you and you give me just cash for that? And the sponsor is obliged to do this. Ideally, when markets are perfectly efficient, the price of the ETF should be exactly equal to its net asset value. However, we see in the market persistent deviations between these two objects. This creates so-called arbitrage activity, where people try to arbitrage the difference. The big issue with the ETF market is that the number of ETFs that have been traded is constantly growing. We only had one 30 years ago, now we have more than 5,000. And if there are too many ETFs due to this creation redemption activity and the structure of market making, it may actually amplify these inefficiencies and lead to welfare losses for consumers and market participants. So one of the main lessons for policy here is to possibly introduce some way of controlling the growth of the ETF universe. And perhaps we should stop for the moment and think about either freezing it or slowing down the rate at which the ETF universe is growing. <laughs>